Well, you guys, one lesson learned, adding more of these boxes around town so people can drop off their ballots. Now, county officials are also hearing concerns from its residents, citing ballot security, ballot fraud, saying traditionally they voted by mail for years, but this election, they're not taking any chances. They'll be dropping off their ballots in person. Now, county officials say voters should not worry. They have plenty of security measures in place to ensure voter safety. Thank you. Thank you. Election day. Now, more like election season. Ballots are already being mailed out to every one of California's nearly 20 million registered voters. Um, but so far, everything's been going well. It Courtney Bailey Canellos is registrar of voters for Sacramento County, one of the first five in California to implement the Voters' Choice Act and pilot an all mail in election in 2018. Bailey Canello says this model provides greater flexibility and convenience for voters. One is that every registered voter would automatically receive a ballot in the mail. And two, one day only polling places were replaced with these mega vote centers. While touting the overall success of an all mail in election, the registrar says the county did run into unexpected issues in the 2018 midterm elections. There were several locations where we had lines. And since any voter could go to any location, it was hard to predict uh, where those lines were going to be. So we're preparing uh, with more staff. Another obstacle, the rules when it comes to ballot signatures, making sure parents know they can't sign for their children and spouses can't sign ballots for each other. If voters make these mistakes, their ballots will not be counted. Uh, so I think there is definitely a bit of that, that learning curve, but also kind of that verification to show we do check every ballot. Then there are concerns over possible voter fraud, but Bailey Canellos assures KCRA 3 there are safeguards in place. We go through an audit after the election. In 2018, 94% of registered voters in the county used the vote by mail option, according to the county registrar. She says even with extra security precautions this time around, people who have traditionally voted by mail are skeptical and aren't taking any chances. With all these concerns about mail ballot, we have voters telling us they voted by mail for decades, but now they want to vote in person. Here's how the voting process works. To participate, you must register. Only registered voters will be mailed a ballot. Fill it out at home. Then place the ballot inside the envelope provided. Sign and return it. Ballots can be mailed back, no postage needed, or dropped off at a designated ballot drop box. We have more drop boxes uh, than ever before with 70 uh, locations countywide. Plus 84 additional locations, voting centers, where you can vote in person or drop off your ballot. October 24th is when voting centers open for in-person voting. You can also vote in person right now at the elections office. These locations have replaced traditional polling places, including neighborhood precincts. And Courtney does guarantee each and every ballot will be counted. She says the elections office is working closely with the post office to ensure timely delivery of all election materials. Now, coming up tonight on KCRA 3 special newscast after the debate, we do give you a firsthand look at how the county is testing its voting machines for accuracy. For now, reporting live in Sacramento, I'm Brittany Johnson, KCRA 3 News.